Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. Have you ever wondered why uh, some Christians never grow up? What is it about some Christians that's throwing these emotional temper tantrums when they don't get their way? Exactly what is the problem? Why is it that some Christians never grow up? They just stay children emotionally. Why can't some Christians ever grow up is the question. Did I say that earlier? And I'm saying that once again. Well, let's look at what the Bible says about why some Christians don't grow up. Quarreling in the church because of deep down uh, people are just very jealous of each other. Dividing up into groups to strengthen their own wrongdoing. Does that sound familiar? Hopefully you're not in a church like that. But the question is, why is it that some Christians never grow up? Well, what does Paul say about this? Well, we find in the Bible, Paul says such Christians are acting like people who don't know the Lord. They're acting like they don't belong to Jesus. The, uh, they're grown adults, and they're acting like they don't belong to the Lord. Let me ask you this question. What about you? Are you acting and behaving like you belong to our Lord Jesus Christ? Are you living like you belong to God? Or are you acting like you belong to the devil as you sit in church every Sunday? My friends, there's either one or the other. Let everyone examine themselves. To see if you're in the faith. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 3, Paul writes this. For you are still only baby Christians, controlled by your own desires, not God. So here's one of the problems why a lot of Christians never grow up. They are being controlled by their own desires. And the flesh is the only thing that never gets saved. And our flesh wants all these worldly desires. And Paul is saying, you're being controlled by your own desires. Not what God desires, but your own desires. So when you're jealous of one another and divide up into quarreling groups, doesn't that prove that you're still babies? So Paul is saying, when we start to, when we're jealous of one another, and when we uh, divide up into these different groups and we fight against one another, he's saying, you know what that proves? That proves you're still a baby in Christ. You're still a baby. You're acting like a baby. You're acting like you don't belong to our Lord Jesus Christ. It Doesn't that prove it? Now, he goes on to say, what's happening is you want your own way. You want to stay like a little baby where you're constantly uh, getting your own way. And when you don't get your own way, you start to cry and act up. Wanting your own way is a problem. That we're having but we need to understand and learn what's Jesus way what does our Lord Jesus Christ want from us in fact Paul writes you are acting like people who don't belong to the Lord at all let me repeat that a lot of Christians are acting like they don't belong to our Lord Jesus Christ they're acting like they don't even know him and yet they attend church every Sunday have you ever, ever wondered why some Christians never grow up throwing emotional temper tantrums? Do you know who you belong to? Hopefully you do. I hope that you know who you belong to. Are you sure you know who you belong to? Are you living like you belong to Him? Are you living like you know who you belong to? Only you can answer that question. Now, people can see that from your behavior and how you act. But you know what? Even though, even though only you can answer that question, and you may not always be honest when you answer that question, only God knows if you're telling the truth because he knows everything. Now, friends, and only God knows um, the inner parts of ourselves because the Holy Spirit is the one that is living inside of us and he wants to speak to our minds. So the question is, when I started, have you ever wondered why it, some Christians 
never grow up. Well, it's because they are still emotional babies with selfish desires. That's what the Bible says. And uh, emotional babies with selfish desires. And that's why they're not growing up. And uh, the whole purpose of the church, of the body of Christ, is to mature the saints. To get the saints to become mature in their faith so they can go out and tell others about our Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, I hope this message has been encouraging to you. And what we want you to do is to grow up in our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.